hip thrusters, uh, an exercise gaining huge popularity over the last um, few years. Uh, so, the way that I like to do hip thrusters, and, and we do see it abused quite a lot, is take a bench, if they haven't got a hip thruster bench, just a standard a bench, what you want is your shoulder blades to be locked into the bench, okay? And what I like is to use a pad, or you can use a plate, okay? Because what will happen, if you don't, you'll be too low, so you need to elevate yourself. So this uh, thruster pad, will go underneath your backside, your feet are gonna be planted, and all you're gonna do is, when you, when you do the movement, is your hip is gonna come up, you're gonna squeeze your bum. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna tuck your chin in, so your back is nice and straight, your legs are at 90 degrees, and your feet are flat, and you're gonna come back down, and then drive up. Now, you can either put a dumbbell on your cross your hips, or a barbell, which is what a lot of people do, okay? So if you put a barbell, you'd have the barbell here, you would drive up, you would squeeze your bum, tuck your chin in, and back down. Now, a mistake, a lot of people we see, mistakes, common mistakes are no pad, the bar is here, and then they come up, and then basically the weight goes that way because you're looking that way. And then there's no, nothing on the glutes. So what we want is pad back, pad underneath you, drive up so you're feeling it in the glutes, okay? Not doing that. So it's tuck your chin in, glutes, back down. So chin in, squeeze them glutes, we've got the bar, down to up, drive, and back down, okay? This is gonna work, it's very good for working your glutes and your hamstrings. Try not to fall, like I say, into the into the category of category, sort of into the habit of no pad, having a bar and sort of just doing that, coming up on your heels, you want your feet flat on the ground.